If you are watching this video then you certainly enjoy Elden Ring and the action and thrill it gives you. However, the widescreen crash can just disrupt your experience. Through this video, we will tell you some methods to fix the widescreen crash, but let's start with restarting the computer. Yes, a lot of players have resolved the issue only by this step, but if not, here we go. On second solution, if the issue is not gone after restarting your relaunching Elden Ring, try uninstalling Epic Games Launcher from your computer. For this, type Control Panel in Windows search box. Click Uninstall a program under Programs and locate Epic Games Launcher and click Uninstall. Select Epic Games Services and select Uninstall. Now restart the computer and download the latest version of Epic Games Launcher from the official websites. Connect the display cable to the graphics card in the next solution. Whenever you have a dual graphics card in your computer, then you can see that the motherboard also gives a slot for an integrated card. Now you have to connect the display cable to the dedicated graphics slot and not the slot of integrated card. Now launch the game once again. In next solution, install or update the graphics driver. For installing driver cards like Nvidia or AMD, visit their website and download the graphics card driver. However, if you already have the driver, then you must upgrade the driver using advanced driver updater. For that, download advanced driver updater, let the tool scan and update the graphics driver. In next solution, fix the Elden Ring widescreen crash, unplug all the external devices. Relaunch the game once again. Don't forget to update your Windows computer. For this, you can directly go to the start button and type update and security. Click on it and check for updates. Update the computer if any new update has come up. Perform clean boot. In the Windows search box, look for System Configuration. Here go to Services and checkmark the box named as Hide All Microsoft Services and click OK. Once done, restart the computer once again. Last and not the least, make sure that you are running only and only Elden Ring on the computer and no other application is running at the moment. If you could resolve the issue, like the video and don't forget to share it with your friends.